Well, that figures. Right as I'm about to make a video about NVIDIA GeForce Experience, it needs to update. So I guess I'll have to get back to you in a second. Hold on. Welcome back, and welcome to my explanation of NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Before I get started, I should explain that in order to fully utilize all of the features in this video, one must have a computer with an Intel Pentium G or AMD Phenom 2 CPU or better, 2GB of system memory or better, and Windows Vista with the DirectX 11 compatible NVIDIA GeForce GTX 600 series graphics card or better. The latter requirement is especially hard to reach nowadays, considering most pre-built PCs on the market today have their graphics processor built on the CPU rather than having a distinct GPU. So if you have on-chip graphics or you prefer AMD graphics cards, sorry you won't be able to use all these wonderful features in this program. Full system requirements are on the screen for your viewing pleasure, and if you have any questions about the system requirements or need help in meeting them and you are in the class for which I made this video, ask me after class. If you happen to stumble across this video on YouTube, leave me a comment and I'll do my best to answer. Without further ado, here's NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Now why would someone want to use NVIDIA GeForce Experience? Well, for the same reason one would build their PC with an NVIDIA graphics card, high quality video gaming. NVIDIA GeForce Experience is basically a suite of different software features to make PC gaming much more convenient. For instance, if we go to the drivers pane, located right next to the games pane on the top, NVIDIA GeForce Experience automatically detects when our graphics card has a new driver available for it, so instead of having to go around pecking on the internet trying to find your new driver, it's right there on your desktop that you use this icon to get to. So in case in the near future I were to get Borderlands, the pre-sequel, or the Evil Within, or some other new game that came out, I can download my driver right away and play the game with the maximum frame rate. Speaking of playing games with good frame rates, in the games pane on the top left, already selected here, all compatible games, which include most major new releases, have a feature called auto-optimization. What happens is employees at NVIDIA slave over hot keyboards all day and test games with certain graphical settings to find out the best balance of a smooth frame rate with strong graphic fidelity. That way, all we lazy people have to do at home is click the green button and our games will automatically feature the best presented interactive experience possible with our computer specs, compared to the olden days when we had to change graphical settings one at a time and repeatedly run tests to see which settings offered the best balance. For instance, for Batman Arkham Origins here, it's telling me, due to this green field right here, hey, you can turn up ambient occlusion a bit get a bit better lighting effects because my rig can handle it. So I say, oh, okay, NVIDIA GeForce Experience, I'll click this optimize button, and now I have automatic optimal settings. Another cool feature included with this package is NVIDIA Game Stream. This means that if you have an NVIDIA Shield or tablet, and your PC connected on the same Wi-Fi network, you can stream your gameplay to the handheld device and play it in another room much like PlayStation 4 Remote Play with the PlayStation Vita. Unfortunately, I can't demonstrate seeing as I own no such portable device. I've heard it works pretty well though, if that's any consolation prize. By far, my favorite tool in NVIDIA GeForce Experience is NVIDIA Shadow Play. This program allows you to capture footage from your desktop and store it in video format in your computer at the press of your keyboard. This allows me to show you that getting a decent graphics card for your computer only costs around $130. Seriously, I recommend doing it. Your computer will thank you for it. And that you can save about 47 cents on Mr. Clean Magic Erasers right now on Amazon.com. Or this hilarious picture of a cat. That's funny right there. However, the reason that NVIDIA Shadowplay stands out from similar programs like Fraps is that new NVIDIA graphics cards come with built-in processors that are specifically made to record video, so when you use Shadowplay, your PC's performance isn't taxed nearly as much. It makes recorded gameplay much smoother and prettier, and it allows me to show you my greatest moments of gaming glory. Yeah, my crew is flying up into the air like they're going to visit Superman or join the heavenly choirs above or something like that. 
that foolish, you'll need a powerful non-lethal weapon. I recommend coming back here to pick up your concussion detonator. Not a bad idea. I'm down for any weapon that has the word concussion in it. Uh, especially when you're going through the kingdom, a.k.a. the... No! You know, I do not accept this. No. No. You did... No. I d... No! Be advised, citizens of Masyaf. This hay bale is haunted. Stay away from it, man. It's gonna... There's an anvil hidden in it. If you jump in it, it you're gonna break your back. If you let your children near it, it will eat them. Just don't mess with it. It will give you cancer. Oh yeah, and it did let me record the entirety of this video. I should also probably mention that NVIDIA GeForce Experience is totally free, because there's no better price than free. And besides adjusting all the settings on all these programs, that's basically all NVIDIA GeForce Experience has to offer. That being said, do you have any comments, concerns, criticism, anything else that starts with a C? Let me know in the comment section below, or raise your hand now. Even if it starts with one of the other 25 letters of the alphabet, I'll consider it. So thank you for your time, and have a great day.